Gynecomastia is a very important part of our practice that I enjoy doing. Gyneco means woman-like and mastia means breast or chest, so it's a woman-like breast. On a man, that means not just necessarily obesity, but also the glandular tissue that comes along with it, which is the hard, fibrous area that you can actually feel under the nipple and the areola. We see many young men who get it with the onset of puberty, and then we see many men in their 20s, 30s, and 40s who have no antecedent cause for this. Gynecomastia surgery traditionally has not been a very satisfying operation for either the surgeon or the patient. And the reason why is 99% of surgeons are still doing the same technique that's been done for the last 80 years. They put the patient to sleep, they make a three o'clock to nine o'clock incision around the areola, they start cutting out the tissue under direct vision, then it starts bleeding, they can't see very well, they may get a contour problem or a depression, and then ultimately they put drainage tubes in from the side to drain out the fluid. So about nine years ago, I came up with a new idea. No scar at all on the chest, no drainage tube, we're able to remove the two components of gynecomastia, the fatty tissue and the glandular tissue, through an incision this long under each arm. And there are two instruments that allow us to do this, the use of ultrasonic liposuction, and we have a multi-jointed cutting device. We're able to cut out the rest of the glandular tissue with an instrument that goes through this incision all the way down to the nipple. After we've cut all it out and it's perfectly flat, the last thing we do before closing the incisions is to re-inject the entire field with a long-acting uh, anesthetic called Marcane. So when the patient gets up, we've already got the compressive garment on, they're pain-free. They're typically only in the recovery in 45 minutes to an hour, and that stays numb till the next day. They wear the compressive garment under their street clothes uh, for three weeks, and they're done. We see them at eight to 10 days post-op, we see them six weeks after that, three months after that, and they're delighted.